You know what makes me sick? You know what makes me so mad? I just want to trick out my pickup like a Mad Max truck and then hire out as an Uber driver. And then when I pick people up, I go, I can get you where you're going, but parts of the ride might be a little dicey. <laughs> well, little boy, he showed me this commercial on his computer for a, a new picture coming out. He's got that guy, what's his name? Uh, the guy was in Facts of Life. Uh, John, no, George Clooney. That's who it was. Anyhow, George Clooney and this little girl are the last survivors on the Earth. And they're trying to call these astronauts on a giant spaceship to come rescue them. But they got to travel through this uh, nuclear winter uh, nightmare thing to a place to get picked up. And needless to say, it was an engaging commercial. But I do have a question. How come Hollywood always makes the end of the world look so bad? Have you seen one post-popsicle picture ever where you thought to yourself, now that don't look too bad? No. Always people dressed in rags and eating rats, and people in souped-up cars with weapons, and people walking around with hatchets. A lot of them are deformed from radiation and stuff, wearing eye patches and missing an ear. Buildings are falling over and chunks of America breaking off. This general lawlessness and despair. I mean, I watch a lot of them end-of-the-world movies, and you'd be living through, I mean, halfway through that, you'd be hoping you're just dead. Because if you survive, you'd have a hell of a time trying to pay for the infrastructure repairs, right? And here's where I'm at. What if the end of the world really ain't like that? What if everybody's sitting on a beach eating a snow cone, and there's a flash in the sky, and everybody just turns to dust? That's how I want to go, eating a snow cone. Here's my end of the world. I'm running through a mountain meadow in slow motion. Partially clothed, holding hands with Faith Hill, yeah. And bam, I get took out by a murder hornet. He's gone. (laughs) Bye-bye. Wake up, America. Probably wasn't even a murder hornet. Probably Tim McGraw on the tree line with a high-powered rifle. (laughs) But it'd still be a better way to go. This is Earl Fitz, America. Pencil.